come me. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back to another figure review, but this won't be a figure review like all the rest of them. This is going to be a customized paint job figure review of the SH figure art figure, Super Saiyan Son Goku, legendary Super Saiyan. As you've seen from my previous figure review, you know this is one of my favorite Goku figures of all time. The greatest Goku figure, in my opinion, of all time. I give this an overall rating of a 9.8 because of the little bit lighter color on the chest plate and no blood in the detail, but you can always get it custom made. And I had to get it customized, painted accurate to what he looked like in the anime. And I went to Maxed Out Studios. And you can find the link to his socials in the description below. I'm going to be reviewing how well he did and how accurate it is to the actual anime. Let's get into it. First of all, when you get a customized painted figure from Maxed Out Studios, you will get a card in here, an authenticity card, and also a Maxed Out Authenticity sticker on your box as well, so you know it's from Max himself. Alright guys, let's get this Goku out of the box. He looks absolutely incredible. Let's start with the head and the hair. When I went to him, I wanted him to be painted as accurate as possible and Goku in the anime has that white Super Saiyan hair when he first transforms into a Super Saiyan we all love that one he captured the the color perfectly on this all the way around the hair looks great let's get to the face right here his face the cut up marks on his face I wanted them bloodied up just like they were in the anime and he did not disappoint he got every scuff mark on his face bloodied detailed perfectly he even added in shading to the face around the ears around the jawline bringing out more detail than ever one thing about this that i really really love the small details of the blood dripping down his mouth that's amazing he even painted the eyebrows accurate to the color of the hair guys i am not disappointed by this let's get to the body he even looks more jacked than the stock figure with these shaded details it really brings out the muscle guys he didn't disappoint with this either the shading around the chest the shading around the abs perfect man he didn't make him too dark he brought out the detail perfectly let's get to the scuff marks and the blood marks around the body his arms, let's start with the shoulders, the scuff marks, all bloodied up, looks incredible. I'm going to talk about this, and I really love this about what he did. Um, some parts of the chest, he really brought down the drips of the blood right here on this left peck. That's amazing, very detailed. I love that look because we do see in some parts of the anime where Goku is bloodied up, some of that drippage and he brought that out perfectly man he added it on the biceps he added it on the shoulder it looks awesome man all right let's get to the wrist wraps right here one of the things that me and max talked about was let's add that purple tone to the wrist wraps and also the belt and he did that to a t man they're not all the way purple but it has a purplish tone to it and along with the blue, where the shirt is ripped around his waist right here, he still left in that blue tone. It was perfect to the accuracy of the anime, how it was colored in there. So I'm very happy with that. Let's get to the pants right here. The pants, compared to the, uh, the stock figure, he added in amazing color of the orange right here. It looks just like the anime. Even the shading in these, uh, the grooves of the pants right here, the, uh, the ripples all the way around, all the way to the bottom of this figure and the back of the figure, all shaded, colored perfectly to a T. Man, I mean, Max has been doing this over 10 years and he knows what he's doing when he's coloring these these figures. It's beautiful. Also, before we get to the boots, let's talk about the quads and the uh, and the and the calves right here. He even brought out the detail like I was talking about earlier of the bloody drippage, these little drip marks on the quads. Incredible, man. Um let's get to the boots though. The the coloring on the boots 
more the blue blue shading around the boot. One thing that he details very well is the lightness of the blue around the boot and then some of the darkness around the boot. It looks incredible and all the way to these these ties around Goku's boots. He colored them perfectly. I mean, he leaves out no detail. One thing that I'm going to talk about, though, is um, the feel of the character. Sometimes when you get custom paint jobs from um, some artists, they have this chalky feel to it. And his doesn't, man. Th this is very cool, and especially in the hair sometimes. Um, I don't know what painters use, like these custom painters use, but whatever he uses, it doesn't feel like a, that chalky feel. All right, the face place right here. First one. Goku screaming right here, and we talked about this earlier. I'm gonna get, keep on mentioning it. Is that bloody drippage down the down the face? He really captures that well. So even these, he captures the scuff marks with putting the blood on them, the bruised up look. He even shaded this plate. Unbelievable. I can't. I, I would love to see him make a video of him actually painting this because I'd love to know how it's done. All right, this next face plate. The more serious face with kind of like that cocky grin. And, and he even got the blood dripping out the mouth. The uh, the scuff mark on the forehead right in the middle right here with the blood dripping down. It looks incredible. One thing, these face plates, every one of them, the coloring looks all consistent. Looks accurate. Nothing looks different or weird. We have one more face plate here where he's gritting his teeth. He's mad. And right here, even added more of that detail, the blood dripping down. And it looks perfect, man. I love that because this is what I was talking about when I was telling him I want this painted accurate to how he looks in the anime. When he's fighting Frieza, all Jack bloodied up. This looks perfect, Max. I'm very satisfied with this. Very happy with it. The hair looks amazing. That was a big deal for me because the hair on a lot of these uh, Gokus have never had this white look to it. And I will compare this to the uh, the stock figure right here. Look at this. Look at the difference in the color of the hair. So the stock figure, it has that more that yellow tone to it, more that dark golden look. And that's just not how it looked when he was on, on Namek against Frieza in, in the anime. So it looks more white like how Max brought this out. And look at the difference in the skin tone. The skin tone looks perfect. We don't have to worry about that chest plate being discolored from the arms. And the rest of the body, now look at the color of the blue of the wrist wrap on the stock figure. And look at Max's work with the purple tone being brought out. And the same way with the belt. Now look at the pants, the comparisons of the two. The stock figure, it has that more of a lighter orange look. Which I'm not, not happy about. It looks good. But Max brings out that more detail with bringing out that more, that burnt looking orange, like he's been, you know, blasted. It just looks a lot better with bringing out that detail with the shading. All right, let's compare the boots. The stock figure, a little bit more darker blue. And Max's, he lightens it up a little bit because the boots weren't purple in the anime, but they were just a lighter blue, not that dark blue like we see later on in Dragon Ball. Comparing these two figures right here, I'm going to say, hey, I'm going to take Max's all day. Guys, go check out Maxed Out Studios on Instagram if you want your figures customized to the most accurate way possible. Max, thank you for making this figure even more of my dream figure. Guys, if you're enjoying these figure reviews, leave a comment below what you want to see me review next. And like always, Support by liking, subscribing, sharing this video. Until next time, I'm out.